Welcome to another daily update here in the Tandem C Television Studios and the workshop is back up and running and we got the first job done. Don't go anywhere. During the intro, you probably heard me say two things. One, the workshop is back up and running, which it is, and we're gonna take a look at that in just a second. But you probably all also heard me say daily update. And that's right, we're getting back to a daily update schedule. Since the workshop is back up and running, I can actually get work done on a daily basis and give you updates on that uh, on a daily schedule. So moving forward from today, I'm gonna try to keep on the daily schedule as best as I can. Obviously, things come up, things happen, and you might there might be a day or here and there missed, but I'm gonna try to stay on a daily schedule with updates of what's going on in the workshop, along with what's going on with the rest of the studio build. But for now, let's go ahead and uh, take, well, let me just scoot over, and we can take a look at what's going on over in the workshop. So this weekend, I was able to rent a U-Haul and get a lot of the big items uh, moved over to here to the studios, uh, including my work table. So what was holding up work really was the fact that I didn't have a big work surface, my big work table to work on. Well, that's here now. I'm able to start uh, putting out all my, I got all my paints moved over, all my glues moved, basically all the tools I need to, uh, to get back to work. I've got moved over, getting them sorted out onto the work table. I also was able to set up a side table um, for my painting station. So this is where all my airbrush work will go on. So I've got my airbrush um, uh, booth there and I'll have all, my, all the different airbrushing stuff that I need over on the side here, right within our Reach from the work table. Um, so that's all looking great, except for the rest of the room, which is still a bunch of boxes. Um, so I still got a lot of unpacking to do. Still got a lot of organizing to do. I need to get some more shelves up. I need to get everything sorted out and organized. But we were able to go ahead and, like I said, get back to work. Uh, even with all these boxes in the middle of the room, I was able to get back to work and get a first job done in the new workstation. And we're going to take a look at that right after a commercial break. So let's take a real quick commercial break. We gotta pay the bills around here. Uh, and when we come back, we'll take a look at that job, that first job that we've gotten done in the new workstation, our work room. See you in a bit. Welcome back and thanks for sticking around. Now about four months ago, maybe six months ago or so, Red Cat released a 64 Impala. Um, a really cool car that they came out with, a lowrider they came out with, and you know those guys over at Highway, Highway 1 RC, they had to go out and buy a half dozen of them. So they got at least six of these things over there, and they called me up and said, hey, we really want to take these to a scaled out level, and we really want to make them uh, look West Coast lowrider. And every West Coast lowrider, you know what they need? They need their car club in the back window. They need a plaque in the back window so they can show off their car club. So that's just what they asked me to do for them, is make some little plaques for their 64 Impalas uh, that say Highway 1 RC. Um, and in fact, that's exactly what we did. We did six of them. Well, we did three gold uh, and three silver little uh, scale-sized Highway 1 RC lowrider plaques that they can put in the back windows. And really, in my opinion, give it that really scale look. I think it looks, it's going to look really cool. I can't wait to get these out to them, shipped out to them, uh, and see what they look like uh, in those back windows. Um, but that was a perfect first job. Uh, for the new workspace that we've got going on. Nice, simple build. Basically, it's just a simple 3D model that we've 3D printed and then painted gold and silver, and then we'll send out to the Highway 1 guys. Makes for the perfect first job. Now, we're going to keep those jobs going. In fact, we got some bigger jobs coming up, uh, and, including the Gremlin. So I know a lot of you guys have been asking, hey, where's the Gremlin updates? Well, they're coming. They'll be coming this week. I'm going to get the Gremlin over here. Uh, I've got to move all the vehicles over yet. I was clearing some space uh, where they can go in the workshop, 
Um, I want to keep them nice and safe, so I, I try to get their own little space put together. I'm um, going to move them over, and we're going to get to work on the uh, Gremlin this uh, this week. We're also going to get back to work on the CCG 2084 stuff, uh, so whether it's the buildings for the city and the vehicles themselves. Uh, even though Studio A is not closed in and finished, that doesn't mean now that the work, uh, our workspace is back up and running that we can't get back to work. Uh, on the on what's going in Studio A, like the, the vehicles uh, and the city itself. So we're going to get back to work on that this week. Uh, and speaking of CCG 2084, I had a patron uh, put together some fan art uh, and send it over to me, which I'm super excited about. So I wanted to showcase that. So I love this kind of stuff, guys. If you want to put together fan art, please do and send it to me. I love this kind of thing. I love uh, if you're willing to put time uh, together to... Uh, you, use your own time to put together fan art for stuff we're doing here at Tandem C Television. I love it. I'm going to cherish it, and I'm going to I'm going to print it out and post it on the wall. And this is going to actually these this kind of stuff is going to be in the background of videos we do here on this channel because I love this kind of thing. I thank you so much for doing this. I really do appreciate it. Uh, and if you if that's something you'd like to do, I'd love to see what you're doing, uh, whether it's fan art or any of that kind of thing. You can email me down to at the email in the uh, in the description below. Just send it there, and trust me, I'm gonna print it out and post it. It'll be behind me uh, in the videos that we do because I love that kind of thing. I really do appreciate it. Um, if you'd like to help support the channel. Hey, hit that join button down below. We've got an exclusive build going on uh, for channel subscribers and for patrons. Um, so if you'd like to join the channel or check out the Patreon page, hit the, hit the uh, link down in the description. You can check out this exclusive build we have going on uh, at those two locations. Uh, of course, always hit the subscribe button. It really does help. And the thumbs up button. And leave those comments down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Or else, actually, I, don't, I can't say it anymore. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.